Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at um, the red defense um, really quickly. Uh, this is the red defense at base. It's different from our perimeter defense, and what you'll notice is we have a middle person who was formerly back here, now all the way up in front of the front line, and these players who were a little shorter are deeper now. So they were up here at base. Now if we're going to react, let's look at reacting to a middle attack, because that's kind of a tough one for this defense. Uh, middle attack, we have somebody gr in great position for covering tips right behind the block, and she can cover quite a bit of space. If we double block, then um, the libero has got a, a lot of pressure on her because if the middle's smart enough to hit in this area, that's going to force her to come up and start playing in here, uh, which then opens up this area. So this is one where if we double block, it becomes a, more of a challenge. So that's one consideration when playing this defense, is, is, is it the right situation? But in a lot of cases, uh, we're only single blocking. When we single block, then the outside can drop back here, the setter can drop back here, covering angle, and these two have the back. And depending on how the hitter likes to hit, they can start reading. The, the challenge here is covering this area which means these two players have to, now they are deeper, but they have to get back over here to cover this ball. Okay, so uh, with a single block, this is a pretty good defense. Uh, you notice that really the only open area is here, and these two players probably have time to get there from the depth there, and, and they're coming forward for the ball, so they're not going back, and that gives them a, a, a pretty good chance to cover this. I've used this defense um, with good reading skills all the way up to 17-year-old players with double blocks, and we've been able to um, cause other teams to, to, make, uh, to get confused. So we'll use this um, very often. So let's, let's look at another situation. How about an outside attack, which is the most frequent attack? So again, we're at 20, 20 feet back, about 5 feet in or so, and you can play it differently depending on what the other team's doing. Now, well, let's say we have an outside attack, okay? So this player is going to come up here and attack. So she comes up to attack. Uh, we go with a single block with the setter. Now what happens? Well, the outside gets over here to cover tips. Middle drops off to cover. Outside, instead, now, you know, in our, our um, perimeter defense, the outside hitter would come over here into the hole. Now she just drops straight back. The libero can actually release a little bit towards the middle, and we we can and the opposite will kind of go over to the line because this person could hit line, tends to hit line and cross court or maybe over the block. Sorry, over the block. Oh no, like this. Okay, so now we've got this covered pretty well, and the weaker parts are in this area here, maybe a lob over here, but overall or hard angle here. Overall, this this covers court court pretty well. And so this is a nice defense against a team that's hitting the typical spots that, um, uh, that the perimeter defense is a little weak in. This, this defense is strong in those spots. If we double block this, bring the middle over, then what you can do is pretty much the same thing we've done here. You get this opposite, this, this um, outside hitter to drop in. And if there's a tip in here, she's got a pretty good chance of getting in there. So she can vary her depth here. Maybe she drops, instead of dropping straight back, she may drop a little bit towards the middle to give a little more court coverage, unless this outside hitter blasts the ball. And then we can adjust this libero back here. And so we, we get pretty good court coverage. Again, this opens up a hole here, but typically tips are over the block. So the outside hitter would be here. And if... Uh, what they can do is if the tips keep, if they're really deep tips, she can just adjust her, her position be a little bit behind the 10-foot line and cover, up, cover those. So she can make adjustments as she sees how the other team likes to tip. Um, a good tip, if you are playing this kind of team, to test them is to tip line right in here. Um, if you had an out, opposite attack, to tip right in here because that tests whether or not this outside hitter who's the man up in the defense is actually getting over far enough to cover this. That's probably the weakest spot, a tip down the line against a red defense is, is probably a good thing to start with in terms of an attack because it, it pretty quickly exposes whether or not this middle person here is actually getting over far enough to cover. If she tends to sit in the middle and just watch, then this defense doesn't work very well against a tip down the line 
from either side. So that's kind of the basics of, uh, of the red defense. We're going to start using it um, a, as an option, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, that's our, our plan for, um, for using the red.